Also, another storyline in, in this series is Jalen Brunson. Two games, hasn't shot the ball efficiently. You know, Philly, mm. I feel like Philly's doing a good job on him. They're putting a lot of wings on him. They're putting a lot of size on him. He can't really use his physicality to his advantage. I think Kelly Oubre's been doing a good job defensively. Tobias Harris has gotten that assignment. Then Nicholas Batum. And then what I'm seeing is that a couple things seems like they're staying down on all of his moves to the paint. They're not going for the fakes. Sometimes mm. when he's turning his back to make his move, his turnaround jump shots, they got a second defender helping to contest that shot. And then also when he gets mm. past that point of attack, you got Joel Embiid right there in the middle. So as mm. a point guard, what do you think the adjustment is that, that he needs to make to be a bit more impactful in, in the early parts of the game to, to get some advantages there? That's a great point. I had pointed that out when I was doing my little live um, up-to-date 24-hour <laughs> Well, not twenty four hours. You getting in the game, you know, man. You getting in the media I was doing game, the man. Stories. I was, I was all the way in. I was all the way into the game. Been in the game for a while, but yep. you know. So, you know, I, what I, what I've seen from what he's doing, um, there's two things. There's the, the good, and then there's the not so good. I wouldn't say bad because he's still attacking. Um, he's not on his angle pick and rolls. He needs to have more space where he could go left, where he could go right. He's kind of like inside of the slot area opposed to being on an angle where he's going downhill um him going to the basket and turning his back that right now is becoming a little problem but when the pick and roll is occurring what he needs to do is that pick and roll when it comes he needs to come off the pick and roll hard and then make a move attacking downhill he got to make a decision opposed to coming off the, the pick and roll and probing right, right you know right. they've been studying they've been studying him and they've been watching film which they are doing a great job as far as following out their game plan and how they have him in their space and their temperament of how they want him to play on pick and roll so he's playing at their pace he has to get back into playing his attack mode downhill, going right at Joel and B. Yeah, he may get some blocks, but he got to go to his chest. He has to go and try to draw fouls. He has to use his floater. He has to use his pull-up shot. And he has to be a little bit more decisive off of the dribble coming off the pick and roll. Mm. But overall, you know, you know, the Sixers are doing a really good job defensively, but he's still – maintaining his aggressiveness that shot that he made when the shot it hit the rim and then mm -hmm. it went up and then it dropped in that is you know a shooter's role you know especially at the end of the game that's a that was a big huge huge shot also for his confidence i saw he took a another shot after the game was yeah, over yeah. to make his last shot before he left the garden you know but that's good psychologically mentally he's in the space and he knows but everybody else knows as well. So how he adjusts and how he comes out in the next game in Philly, I said by the I said by game four, I think he'll be rolling because he should be able to make the adjustments. I'm sure him and his dad, um, they're looking at the film, they're watching it. I'm sure his dad is breaking it down, showing how they're playing him, where he can get his pull up jump shots at, but again, you pointed out something I was speaking about. Um, when you turn in your back, when you slow down, you give Maxi an opportunity to block your shot from the, from behind at least two or three times he had his yeah. shot blocked. Um, but at the same time, you know, he's getting, he's getting to where that pull up shot is available, but now he has to come out of his shot a lot quicker. So when he comes off the when he comes off the pick and roll, boom, he got to raise right up. So if he does raise right up, if Maxi comes from behind, he won't be able to challenge. Mm. 